As we solve these linear equations, sometimes some funny things might happen along the way. So we're going to take a look at those funny things and see if we can interpret what those funny things mean. In this first example at the top, we know that when we balance through the equal sign, before we really get started, we like to simplify on the left and right side. Simplifying starts by distributing through the parentheses, which will give us 6x minus 15. And the right side is still the same. Next thing we like to do is move all the variables to the same side of the equation. We like to do this so we know that we are moving away from the variable, moving things to the correct side. So if we want to get rid of the 6x on the left side, we can get rid of 6 positive x's with 6 negative x's on both sides. When we do this, 6 x's and 6 negative x's will give us a 0. But what's interesting is on the right side, we also see 6 positive x's and 6 negative x's, leaving us with 0. We just have a negative 15 on one side of the equation and a negative 15 on the other side of the equation. The variable has subtracted out completely. When the variable subtracts out completely like this, we're going to stop and see if we can interpret what 15 equals 15 or negative 15 equals negative 15 really means to us. How often is negative 15 and negative 15 equal? Well, it's always true. This is a true equation. Negative 15 does equal negative 15. What this implies to us is the original equation is also always a true equation. This means no matter what number you plug in for the variable for the x, you will always get a true statement. It will always work. And when we have this situation that always works or always gives us a true equation, we say the solution is all real numbers. Or you'll hear infinite solutions sometimes. What this means is no matter what you pick, any real number you pick, it will always give you a true equation. Let's take a look at another example. In this problem, 2 times 3x minus 5 minus 4x equals 2x plus 7, we will, as usual, start by balancing on the equals and distributing through the parentheses to clean up the right side. That will give us 6x minus 10 minus 4x equals 2x plus 7. Continuing to simplify, we'll combine like terms to get 2x minus 10 equals 2x plus 7. Again, we want to get the variables all on one side, so we can get rid of 2 positive x's with 2 negative x's on both sides. When we do that, 2 positives and 2 negatives are gone, leaving negative 10 equals... Again, we see 2 positive x's and 2 negative x's subtracting out to 0, leaving 7. Again, we've got this equation, negative 10 equals 7. The variable has subtracted out completely. But what's different about this problem is negative 10 is not equal to 7. We have a false equation. This equation is never true. Negative 10 is never the same as 7. So what might that imply about the original problem? This problem is also always going to be false. When we get a false equation, this means no matter what you pick for x, it will never work. We say there is no solution. Sometimes you'll hear the word inconsistent. So if the variable subtracts out completely, we need to decide is it always true, all real numbers, never true, no solution. 